Hey everyone, welcome back to Sovereign Chill. I'm Kev. Yesterday, gonna be watching the first part of season seven. I couldn't, I, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait any longer. Um, it hasn't been that long since I watched nine and ten together of the end of season six, but I'm, I'm like, me head is gonna explode if I don't watch another episode, and I can't watch another episode without uploading it. You know what I'm like? I, I'm, I'm addicted. Okay, I'm like a crack addict. <laughs> episode one, season seven, Dragonstone. I mean, come on. Come on, people. So much happened. Uh, the fact that I watched two episodes, to, like, back-to-back, -back, um, really important episodes as well. Not only did I get to see the the uh, the swift... Well, the swift? No. The the ending of, a, a, like, little shit Ramsey Bolton. But it was, like, the way it was done as well. Dog face eaten, and it was just his chin getting ripped, and it was fucking delightful. I loved it. I wish I could have just sat with a cup of tea and just watched the entire death. It would have been brilliant, but it just left it kind of, like, in your own imagination. Uh, you know, Sansa just walked out as if to say, yep, and then she had that smirk on her face. I was just like, yes, you go, girl. Um, and I'm really pleased that he died like that. Uh, the same... Is that fucking old shitbag, Walder Frey. Finally, Walder got his comeuppance as well. Um, he's been, obviously, uh, a dickhead, after, uh, you know, after what he did at the Red Wedding. So it's been coming for a long time. So happy that Arya... Arya didn't waste any fucking time, did she? She's only just come back. She's just come back. And she wants to grab the, like, a, um, the face off the wall on the way out. And being like, right, I'm going to go back to... Uh, I'm going to go and see Walder Frey with this. And fucking serve. Uh, he's youngins in a pie <laughs> oh my god it was the best though i've had to go and watch it again it was so good the last thing you're gonna see is a smark uh, is a stark smiling down on you as you die and then just slit your throat and just stood holding them and then just went back and smiled fucking vicious i loved it obviously we got to see uh them half the the part the, the cost of the cast um with regards to what they did um below like cersei wiped everybody out Yes. It was like, like an enjoyable, but kind of like a mind, kind of like, you, it's been going on for so long now at King's Land and that kind of, that battle between the high set, the, the high sparrow, and then you had, you know, you, you had the Marjorie thing, you had the Tommen thing, you, and it's all done, all gone, gone, in the blink of an eye, like that, fucking dead, like she's just killed everybody. It's, it's a weird one, but like, an enjoyable one and a very enjoyable one uh and overall so it's just kind of like left it and obviously last thing we saw we saw danny last on the way over so she's going to touch down in westeros for the first time this is the seventh season so i've had a whole six seasons of, of them being on different sides of like the, the, the world so to speak and now they're going to finally meet with Tyrion as the hand i can't wait can't wait any longer i've got to see it thank you so much for being here i really appreciate your time if you spent any time here you know how much i really appreciate it uh if you like the channel and you go wow he talks strange but i'll follow along because i like game of thrones hit the like button and subscribe i also put the full length reactions to this and many other things over on the patreon if you like the full length stuff there's a link below give it a click it'll take you over there and have a look completely up to you but in the meantime oh my god let's do it oh my god it's so good I was waiting for the music to kick in. Oh, what? What? He's dead. I was thinking back. Has he done something? That's a thinking back. <laughs> Fuck off. Why I brought you all here? Wait, 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 wait. Since when does old Walter give us two feasts in a single fortnight? What? I've gathered every fray who means the damn thing. No, I don't. Tell you my plans. Please. Now that winter has come. Winter has come. First, a toast. No, it's for Arya. Arya's, do Arya's killing everybody. This is the finest arbor gold for proper heroes. We'll soon see if he doesn't drink any. Stand together. Stand together. Die together. Oh, he hasn't drunk. She hasn't drunk. It's Aya. Fucking Aya. She's killing everyone. Not you. Oh. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. He saved her life. She saved her life. 
Oh my god, I love everything. It's a tire. Maybe I'm not the most pleasant man. I'll admit it, but I'm proud of you lot who helped me slaughter the Starks. Fuck off. The Red Wedding. Oh, they're all cheering. Yes. Cheer. <gasps> Brave man. Butcher the woman pregnant with her babe. Cut the throat of a mother of five. Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. <gasps> oh, the cop! Look at hands on the throat! You didn't slaughter every one <laughs> of the Starks. <laughs> that was your mistake. You should have ripped them all out, loot and st My god, she wiping the whole fray line out! <laughs> Leave one wolf alive. She's killed everyone! For safe. <laughs> She's killed everyone? Yes! Yeah, yeah! When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. <gasps> tell them winter came for House Frey. Oh my god, did she just say that? Did she just say winter came for house free? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry into me soup! She's so badass! She's so badass! We've just started! What the fuck? We've just started season seven! Me throat went, ah! I can't believe it! The North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey and killed everyone. People. People. Nah. I need to go back and watch that now. <laughs> I mean, I can't do it now, but I want to. That has to be one of the greatest starts to any series that I've ever seen. <laughs> so happy Frey died, though. But now all of them little bastards did as well. Oh, the White Walkers. What the fuck? Where were the fuck? No, they've took the giant. No, they've got the giant as well. How have they managed that? Wow. Oh, Bran. And Brandon Stark out the fucking road. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. Brother of John. Uh, in you come, son. How do I know that's true? You were at the Fist of the First Men. You were at Hardhome. You've seen the army of the dead. You've seen the Night King. Wow. He's coming for us. Get inside, son. Get warmed up. Hey, come on. Let's get them inside. Yes. <laughs> he knows so much now. She's fucking knackered. She's had a bad couple of days, like. Dragonglass kills white walkers. It's more valuable to us now than gold. That's what Sam's going to find out. We need to find it. We need to mine it. We need to make weapons from it. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy, and girl on Bear Island. The uh, only thing standing between us and the army of the dead is the wall, and the wall hasn't been properly manned in centuries. You want us to man the castles for you? Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardhome. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. <laughs> The Umbers and the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. <gasps> the punishment for treason is death. Give the castles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. Oh, I don't know. As she might be right here. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins. That is my decision. And my decision is fine. Ooh! Alice Carstark. See, they, they, they didn't do anything. I do get where John's coming from. For centuries, our families fought side by side on the battlefield and come to our aid whenever called upon. She will. Straight away. Yesterday's wars don't matter anymore. All the living know. God, I love this show, man. Will you stand beside me, Ned and Alice? Yes, I will. Now and always. Now and always. Well done. <laughs> Fucking tremendous.
I, I can see her point of view as well, though, people. Shut up, you, you dick. Oh my god, I'm excited. What's gonna happen when Danny Lass gets here? When you question my decisions in front of the other lords and ladies, you undermine me. Oh my god, I can't look at him the same way. He, it, it's, it's not Ned's, but like, in a not in a bad way. He could be a Targaryen. You really do, but you have to... But he's got black hair. You have to be smarter than father. I loved them, I missed them, but they made stupid mistakes and they both lost their heads for it. Would that be so terrible? I've got a feeling she's going to take over. King's Landing. What? Your grace. Everybody's fucked. That's all it says. Cersei of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. What does she want? My allegiance. Come to King's Landing, bend the knee, or suffer the fate of all traitors. It's a thousand miles between us and Cersei. Winter is here. The Lannisters are asleep. Winter is here. If you're her enemy, she'll never stop until she's destroyed you. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. I love the colour change when we go here. You've been quiet since you came home. You angry with me? No. Daenerys Targaryen has chosen Tyrion to be her hand, hoping to take back her father's throne. How'd she find out about that? Our little brother. The one you love so much. The one you set free. He's out there somewhere at the head of an armada. Stannis left the castle unoccupied, and that's where she was born. Yeah. Ned Stark's bastard has been named King in the North, and that murdering whore Sansa stands beside him. We look like the losing side. Our children are dead. We're the last of us. Our baby boy killed himself. He betrayed me. Should we spend our days mourning the dead, mother, father, and all our children? Mercy. I loved them, I did. <laughs> She's now, we're still flesh and blood. Is it's different now. She's, he's changed. Even Lannisters can't survive without allies. Where are our allies now? Now they're all dead. Whoever killed them is no friend of ours. We need allies. That's it. Whoever killed them is no friend of ours. Fucking Arya. I invited Euron, Greyjoy, yeah, the you're king on. of the Iron Islands. And they're good at killing. They're not good at anything. <laughs> I know the Iron Bull. They're bitter, angry little people. You're on Greyjoy didn't come here for that. Well, did he come Give here? Give it to me and marry me. A queen. Yep. He's gonna marry. She's she's not. Cause he's trying to get into Danny Lass, isn't he? They stole my best ships and ran. <laughs> Dickhead. Murdering them would make me feel a lot better. All our treasonous family members are fighting for the same side. Let's kill them all. Could murder them together. Careful. You're not a rightful monarch. Why? The Great Joys rebelled against the throne for the right to be monarchs, oh. but as I recall, you were soundly defeated. We all made it to the Iron Islands anyway. I was there. Kill him. I remember very well. The best in the world, no one can stop him. When you rushed through the breach and started cutting people down, it was glorious. The people I was cutting down were your own kin. The place was getting crowded. He's a dickhead. If you hadn't crushed us, I wouldn't have gone into exile. The Iron Fleet, you own the seas. Yep. You can defeat the invaders in the east. And I want uh, to marry you. What do you want in return? I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am. You cheeky bastard. With a thousand ships and two good hands. You've broken promises to allies before and murdered them at the nearest opportunity. The surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. Ooh. Got some balls on him, like, hasn't he? I'll give him that. Fucking try and chat our Cersei up, but he wants to fucking get into Danny Lass. Just getting on there. How is Sam, lad? Find out something about the White Walkers. Oh my god, there's, a, there's fucking some soup. Every day. <sighs> fucking hell, man. Oh, you, you've got, you made your point. What's he going to see? He's definitely going to find something in there that's going to talk about dragon glass. I asked you if, in light of what I'd seen in the north, if I could have access to the restricted area of the library. I've seen them. The army of the dead. I was sent here to learn how to defeat them. But, but the tales of the long night can't be pure fabrication. Too many similarities from unconnected sources. Sources in the restricted area? The very same. Be a good lad. Clean this up. 
Ugh. I'm gonna leave him a key to get in. Well, that's right, like, if he's not gonna get a given, he's gonna fucking go and gonna go and have a lucky cell. He's gonna get captured, don't he? No! <laughs> She's teaching him. Oh, here he comes. He's gonna chat her up, isn't he? <laughs> You're a lucky man. I've heard she beat the hound in single combat. She's a very impressive woman. I want you to be safe. I am Shut safe. up, man. When is I you gonna turn up? Take me from anyone who would harm me. Because she's just killed all the freers, so she can't be far away. What about Happy? What do you want that you do not have? At the moment, peace and quiet. No need to seize the last word, Lord Baelish. I'll assume it was something clever. Oh, ho, 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 ho. fucking kicked him in the head. I'll assume it was something clever because he loves his last little word. Oh, well done, Sans. Kick them right in the little finger. Why is he still here? Yeah. Because he's trying to buck us, that's why. Little finger saved us. He wants something. I know exactly what he wants. <laughs> Come on. Careful. Hang on a minute. That's not fucking Ed Sheeran, is it? <laughs> it sounds like... Oh my god, it's Ed Sheeran! How the fuck did he manage to get in this? <laughs> yes, Ed. Your little ledge. Are you hungry? We've got some rabbit. Come on. It's gonna be a cold night. Oh my god, how's Ed Sheeran managed to wingle his way in here? Better not say anything to her. I don't think they look like they're gonna try it on. Kind of picture Ed being like a... being a raper. What are you doing in the Riverlands? There's been some trouble with the phrase up at the Twins, so we're part of the army that's been sent to keep the peace. Oh, no, I couldn't. You don't have enough. But my mother always told me to be kind to strangers. Strangers to be kind to you. That's nice of the mind. What the fuck? She's not used to this shit, like. That's nice. Are you old enough to drink? It's blackberry wine. I made it myself. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bad, these lads. I'm going to kill the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> that went awkward for a second, but she's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking not lying, everyone. You're a grouchy old bear, aren't you, Clegane? You want some rum? Don't mind that shit, it's too sweet. This seems like a good place to spend the night. Oh, poor them. That's the house that they went to before that he fucking took their money from. They're gonna be dead, aren't they? Yeah, they're gonna be found dead. I don't like the look of it. I'll tell you what doesn't scare me, bald cocksuckers like you. <laughs> you think you're fooling anyone with that top knot? Maybe they got some ale hidden away. They don't. They don't. It's better than nowhere you can saw there's loads of dust. They're not there. They're probably going to be found dead, though. Ah, oh, fucking hell. They're dead. Did he, like, look like he had a mark in the side of his head and she's dead beside him? girl died in her father's arms. Both of them covered in blood and a knife at their feet. I'd say they were starving. And rather than let his little girl suffer, he ended it for both of them. Fucking hell. Doesn't matter now. No. Doesn't matter now. Oh, Jesus. Fucking absolute brutality. I don't hate you. Don't like you, but you're not bad. Thank you, Clegane. That warms the heart. So why does the Lord of Light keep bringing you back? I've met better men than you, and they've been hanged from crossbeams. They'll just shat themselves to death in a field somewhere. <laughs> so why you? Mm. You think I don't ask myself that? Good question. Every hour of every day, what does the Lord see in me? I don't understand our Lord. He wants me alive. If he's so all-powerful, why doesn't he just tell you what the fuck he wants? <laughs> don't worry, the fire won't bite. It's my fucking luck I end up with a band of fire worshippers. 
<laughs> ah, almost seems like divine justice. Whoa. Go on, have a look. How a hound, lad. I wonder if Clegane's gonna see something. What do you see? Logs burning. Keep looking. What's he gonna see? He's gonna see something. What do you see? Ice. Whoa. A wall of ice. The wall. How can he see the wall? Whoa! What else? It's where the wall meets the sea. There's a castle there. <gasps> a mountain. Looks like an arrowhead. The dead are marching past. Thousands of them. Can he see? He can see them. Fuck! Do you believe me now, Clegane? Do you believe we're here for a reason? Whoa! He can see them? Fuck a duck! He's burying them. I thought he would. He had respect for them, at least. What the hell are you doing, Clegane? Burying the dead. Oh, well done. Yeah, oh, that's nice of him. Kind of, bro kind of like a brotherhood. I'm sorry you're dead. You deserve better. Yeah, wow, look at that side of him. That's unbelievable. He's going to be like, fucking hell, it's rough something to you. You should really sleep, Sam. The dead don't. The Targaryens use dragonglass to decorate the weapons without even knowing what the first men used it for. What's he saying? What Come is on. it? It's a map of Dragonstone. The Whoa. Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. That's dragonglass. A mountain of it. Whoa! Beneath the ground. Stannis told me, but I didn't think this is important. John needs to know. Yeah, get that off to a raven. <gasps> mountain of dragonglass. Whoa. Hasn't been touched, he's dead. Oh! Oh, they've got leprosy or something. Has she come yet? <gasps> Don't be Jor- It's gonna be- It's gonna be Jorah! It's Jorah! Daenerys Stormborn. Khaleesi! Haven't heard anything. He's there, he's at the Citadel. Whoa! She's about to touch down, people. She's going to touch down. She fuck. She's here. She's in Westeros. There it is. <gasps> in Westeros. She's gonna be like, "Fuck me." It's cold. But yep. <gasps> wow. She's home. Just gonna open the dragon's heads. Dragonstone. So John's gonna get told to go there, where she is. There's like a big deposit of dragon glass there underneath the mountain. My, my banners to go up. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow.
Shall we begin? Wow, that was very, very, very impressive. Um, I kind of like the way they built that up there. Um, Danielas is finally, she's in Westeros. She's finally touched down and then she had a slow walk up. Shall we begin? Um, basically saying, I'm here now. Uh, let's let's put a, a plan of action together to take over Westeros. Uh, another amazing episode. Absolutely loved it. Great start to season seven. Um, unbelievable start to the start of uh, episode one. Um, we saw the whole wipeout of the Frey clan uh, via, via Arya Stark. Uh, I loved it because when it first came on, like, because it hasn't been that long since I've seen it. It was only like a few days ago. Um, it's all still fresh in my memory. For those of you who had to wait a while, I bet you were kind of like, uh, have I missed something or are we going back where? For me, I'm like, nah, he's dead. It has to be Arya. Um, so I love the I love the dialogue in it as well. Um, the North remembers and uh, you tell him uh, winter came for House Frey. Oh my God, I, I just got ch ch like chills up and down me chills. It was just an unbelievable episode. They've done really well to kind of continue it on. Uh, and Cersei's just an absolute lunatic. Yeah. I like them. Um, I like what they're doing with the Hound as well. They're definitely changing the likability factor of him. I mean, I've always liked his wit, but he's always been very cutthroat. Ever since he had the, uh, ever since he was with that Ian, like Ian McShane's character and stuff, and uh, it was like seemed like he was turning over a new leaf. Ever since then, um, he's just kind of he seems to have been, seems to have been be a totally different person. Um, you know, burying them. And just, there just seems to be a little bit more humanity with them. If that makes sense. A little bit more humanity, uh, which I like. Um, I wonder if I is gonna do him in. Um, it's not gonna be long then until we get an I uh, a Sansa reunion. Hopefully, fingers crossed. That would be good. Uh, but we shall wait and see for that. But brilliantly, absolutely love that episode. Amazing, amazing start to season seven. Thank you so much for watching along with us. I really appreciate your time. Um. If you like the channel, I will put a link for the other ones that like a playlist for the other ones that I've seen. I'll put a subscribe button up there. Remember to turn your notifications on. I'll see you for episode two very, very soon.